Hello everyone, welcome back to Real Life. I hope you're having a great day. In this episode, we're visiting Canada Olympic Park, or COP, on a beautiful winter afternoon in February 1996 for skiing, snowboarding, and a brief behind the scenes look at the 1996 FIBT World Championships. COP, formerly known as Pascapoo Ski Hill, is a ski hill and multi-purpose training and competition facility located in Calgary, owned and operated by Windsport. It's currently used both for high-performance athletic training and for recreational purposes, mostly by Calgarians. Canada Olympic Park was one of the venues for the 1988 Winter Olympics, being the primary venue for ski jumping, bobsleigh and luge. The park is located in western Calgary, south of the Trans-Canada Highway, north of the community of Cougar Ridge, west of Bonesse, and east of Valley Ridge, a mere 9 kilometers from downtown. COP's top elevation is only 4,100 feet above sea level, rather low compared to all the other ski resorts west of Calgary. But man-made snow almost guarantees a decent base well into spring. Its history as a ski hill goes back more than 60 years. Construction of the Trans-Canada Highway in the late 1950s led to the University of Alberta's ski team to develop a recreational spot for skiing in the city. And once the necessary funds were collected, the Pascapoo ski area opened in 1960. When it opened, it was well outside Calgary's city limits. Bowness and Montgomery were the closest towns. The entry at the time was a gravel road off the nearly complete Trans-Canada Highway. After the initial excitement wore off, the facility's use lagged without much needed infrastructure improvements. Local businessman Joe Couillard was approached to breathe new life into the facility. His name likely is familiar. Joe was involved with developing skiing at Happy Valley in the 1960s, just a few kilometers west where the neighborhood of Valley Ridge is today. He later operated Fortress Mountain in K-Country in the 1980s and 1990s. After purchasing a major share in Pascapoo developments, Joe turned his fortunes around, installing a second surface lift, a triple chairlift, snowmaking system, and the lighting system for night skiers. He courted businesses and schools by offering special incentives and programs, eventually developing one of the largest ski schools in Western Canada at the time. There were numerous programs involved wherein school students from both the public and separate schools skied as part of their phys ed classes. Tens of thousands of junior high students learned to ski on the modest 400-foot elevation slope. For the summer, Couillard expanded the complex to accommodate go-karts, a golf driving range, and even the alpine slide. Their catchy radio commercial jingles were well known to Calgarians in the 70s and early 80s. With the awarding of the 1988 Winter Games to Calgary on the 30th of September 1981 in Baden-Baden, Germany, plans began. Construction of the Olympic venues began in 1984 on the slopes of the hill. It's a beautiful, sunny, plus six, almost Chinook kind of day. We're at the top of the bobsleigh and luge course, the start line. Television cameramen are set up to cover the competition of the two-man bobsleigh, the four-man bobsleigh, and skeleton. championships will begin in 20 minutes.
Track is clear for 400 Kittle. Italy won, driven by Gunter Huber, with his brakeman Antonio Tartaglia. This season, second track. And he is through with the quickest time through the third interval. Through the sweeping finish turn. And yet again, another. 483, behind by 32 hundredths of a second. In the two-man bobsleigh competition, the Canadian team of Pierre Luders and Dave McEachran would finish second, taking silver behind Germany's Christoph Langen and Marcus Zimmerman, who set a start record of 5.01 seconds that still stands to this day. Speeds of 125 kilometers and faster are common. Canada's Ryan Davenport took gold in men's skeleton. The FIBT, or Fédération Internationale de Bobsleigh et de Tobogganing, is now known as the International Bobsleigh and Skeleton Federation, or IBSF. It was founded on the 23rd of November, 1923, by the delegates of Great Britain, France, Switzerland, Canada and the United States at the meeting of their first international congress in Paris, France. In June 2015, it announced a name change from FIBT to IBSF. The Federation's headquarters are in Lausanne, Switzerland. The Olympic track is well known to Calgarians and even features a tourist start for the more adventurous. Purpose built for the 88 Games, the Windsport Bobsleigh Luge track has been home to the Canadian Bobsleigh, Skeleton and Luge team since the track was completed in 1986. Now part of the huge Windsport facility, the Ice Track, Ice House and Canadian Sport Institute Gymnasium has helped produce a world-class Bobsleigh and Skeleton athletes. The Calgary track has hosted numerous events over the years, including their most recent World Cup in 2019. The hill has changed dramatically in the past 62 years. Calgary has grown around the hill with the Southwest Ring Road or Stony Trail now on its western boundary. It's almost certain to continue evolving as a year-round sports venue for Calgarians. I hope you've enjoyed this behind-the-scenes look at COP. That is good enough for 18th position.